morena tamarikima, morena e te whanau, morena to any mums or dads or aunties or uncles or stepmums or stepdads or brothers or sisters that have popped this video on today. How is everybody today? Good morning. Morena or good afternoon because realistically by the time I get these posted to YouTube it's usually afternoon but that's okay. Oh, kete pehe koe. Kete This morning I'm feeling a bit tired but that's okay. I've got my coffee. Ah, and I'm going to be nice and awake to do some lovely songs and good mornings to all of you guys this morning. So shall we start with Mona kitia tene whanau i tene rā, tihei, mauri ora. Now, we've got a couple of shout outs for this morning. The good morning train is coming, how are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming, how are you? The good morning train is coming, the good morning train is coming, the good morning train is coming, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Mara, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll stop to pick up Isabel, how are you? Choo, choo. And we'll stop to pick up Jackson, and we'll stop to pick up Isabel, and we'll stop to pick up Leo, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Charlie, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Olivia, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Melky, and we'll stop to pick up Frankie, and we'll stop to pick up Elijah, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Eli, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Hope, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Reuben, and we'll stop to pick up Sarah, and we'll stop to pick up everybody, how are you? Okie dokie, tamariki ma. We are going to do our action song this morning, and this one is especially for my special friend Mara. Mara is one of my best friends, baby, so she's kind of like my niece, and Mara lives in Kenya. And when Mara was a teeny, teeny, teeny toto, a teeny, tiny peppy, I taught her this song when she was really little, and she likes to sing it at home with her mummy and her daddy. So I thought we could do roly-poly all together this morning, okay, Tamariki Ma? So we're going to do this with our action hands, we're going to make some big roly-polies, and we're going to sing it together, okay? On tahi, rua, toru, wa. Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, roly poly, clack, clack, clack. Roly poly, roly poly, hands behind your back. Na 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 na. Okay. Roly poly, roly poly, big, big, big. Roly poly, roly poly, small, small, small. Roly poly, roly poly, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Roly poly, roly poly, hands upon your knees. Da 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 da. Roly poly, roly poly, build, build, build. Roly poly, roly poly, build a house. Roly poly, roly poly, shh, shh. Morena guys, now we're going to have a wee story. Now this morning I've got a really special story book. This one is called Tickle My Ears and this story was actually a present from, for me. It was a gift from my special friend Gussie. So this book is really, really, really dear to my heart because it was a present. But this morning I would really like to share it with you. And it's about this little bunny and it's called Tickle My Ears. Tickle My Taringa. This is little rabbit. Tap him on the shoulder. Will he turn around? Now I don't know if you guys can reach your screens. Maybe you could tap an ear like this, go and tap him. You gonna turn around, Bunny? Is that our pity going to turn for us? Let's see. <gasps> he did turn around. We can see his ehu and his big beautiful taringa and he's carrying his toothbrush. It's late, little rabbit. Must go to bed. It's late, little rabbit. Must go to bed. He's brushed his teeth. His pyjamas are ready. Clap your hands and he will put them on. Okay, everybody ready? 
on Tahi Urua Toru. We're going to clap our hands. Tahi Urua Toru. And again, Tahi Urua Toru. Let's see what he did around for us. Put them on for us. <gasps> What's he wearing? He's wearing his smart pajamas. Don't they look comfortable? Well done. Thank you. Okay, we're almost there. Can you fluff up his pillow? Look at his pillows. All crumpled up from the night before. Can you get your hands and go chick 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 chick? We're gonna shake out his pillow for him. Ready? One, two, three, go. Chick 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 chick. Cat fly. Oh. <gasps> He's looking tired. <gasps> Good. At last, little rabbit can go to bed. Say hoppity hop. Can everyone say hoppity hop? In a game, hoppity hop. <gasps> Look how happy he looks in his bed. <laughs> Wonderful. Me hard or now? Give his ears a little tickle. Can you guys in the ear go like this? Tickle, 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 and pretend you're tickling his tarding up. Oh, tickle his tarding up. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, and gently stroke his back. Do you guys like it when your mums or your dads or your aunties or your nannies or your stepmums or any special grown up in your life strokes your back as you're going to sleep? Here's the blanket. Let's tuck little rabbit in nice and tight. Can everyone go? And that's us lifting his blanket up there. One more time. Cat pie. Oh, what's missing? Of course, a good night kiss. Can everyone go? Mwah! We're going to blow a little rapper to your good night kiss again. Mwah! Okay. And don't forget to turn out the light. Here's the switch. Can everyone go? And flip the light up and down. You ready? One more time. Sleep tight, little rapity. Isn't that such a cool, special little book? It's so special. Thank you, Gussie. I love that story. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's see what we can do next. All right, guys. I've got some things lined up so we can do another little experiment. Should we see how many glasses I have? Ihianga glasses. I do not know what the word for couple glasses is today, Māori. Does anyone know? If you know, you can pop it in the comments for me. I can look it up later. But we can still count. Tahi, rua, toru, fa, rima. E rima nga glasses. <laughs> okay. What we're going to do is I've got my pitcher of water, my jug of water. And I'm going to fill each of them up. <laughs> We'll fill it a little bit. Okay, they're not very even, but that's okay. Actually, should we do a little listen? Should we do that a bit more intentionally? Look, let's make this one nice and high. And let's make one of these a bit lower. Do they look like different levels now? Different-ish. These two are similar, aren't they? This one and this one look similar. Number two and five. If we ding them, should we see what they sound like? And this one? And this one? That one sounds similar to this one and this one. And this one? Are you guys noticing how they sound different? Should we make it a little bit more visible? Let's go. Okay, even shorter. Is this going to sound different now? <laughs> They're not quite in tune with anything, but we can make a little tune. You ready? That will be a nice game you can play at home and all of those dinging noises aren't going to drive any adults crazy at all, are they, mums and dads? All right. What we're going to do today, this one's a little bit too big, so we're just going to pour some out. All fixed. Okay. 
one, two, three, four, five, Tahiro Torifa Rima. We are going to see if some things dissolve. Now, do you guys know what dissolving is? So, hmm, have you guys ever watched your mum and dad make, say, a cup of instant coffee and they get a spoon and they put some coffee in their mug and they stir, 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 and they make a hot drink and the coffee has dissolved into the water. Or maybe, have you ever had a Milo before? So you get a big spoon of Milo and you put it in your cup or in your milk and you go stir, 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 and you've got a lovely drink of Milo. It's also dissolving. Or has anybody ever had a bath bomb or bath salts? And you put the delicious smelling beautiful ball into your bath and it goes and then the water turns a special colour and it smells beautiful. That's the bath bomb dissolving. So a bath bomb, a bath bomb, dissolving is when something that is solid mixes inside a liquid. So a solid is something that we have that's nice and hard and we can touch it and it might feel gritty. And a liquid is something that is wet. So water is a liquid, it's all wet. See the droplets on my finger? Milk is a liquid, it's all wet. So I've got a couple of solids here and we're going to see if we think they will dissolve, okay? So, our first one we've got, I'm just going to reach for it, we have got some salt, okay? Inside here I've got some salt, can you guys see? Uh, it's a bit out of focus, isn't it? But that's our salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in here, and then I've got, the spoon might be tricky, I might try and mix it with a knife, just because it's nice and long. And we're going to see if the salt disappears into the water, and if it disappears, then it has dissolved, okay? So we're gonna put in a nice big scoop of salt, okay. Can you guys see? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir it. So at the moment, can you see it's a bit settled at the bottom? And I'm gonna stir, stir, stir. Oh, it's making a whirlpool. Now, of course, I've used Himalayan rock salt, so it's a little bit thicker. Let's see what's gonna happen. Is the water nice and it's a little bit misty but the salt has disappeared into the water it has dissolved should I taste this one ah uh, that is not delicious oh okay okay oh mm. the salt dissolves into the water okay In here I've got some rice. I'm gonna put some rice on my spoon. Okay. Can you guys see the rice on my spoon? Okay. And we're gonna put it inside here. Now, do you guys think the rice, do you think the rice will dissolve or not dissolve? Do you think it will dissolve? Yes or no? Make your guess, really? Go guess, will it dissolve? We're going to pour it into the water. Okay, can you see it all in the bottom? And I'm going to use the knife and stir, stir, stir. Make a whirlpool. Make a whirlpool. Look at those bubbles. Wow, look at that whirlpool. Hmm. Has the rice disappeared? Can you see the rice in the bottom there? The rice did not dissolve. The rice did not disappear. So the rice doesn't dissolve. Okay. We'll put that one there. Okay, next we've got, <clears throat> we've got some, in here I've got some pepper. You guys see on this teeny tiny little spoon, the pepper, so I'm going to put the pepper in there. Oh, before I do it, you guys want to guess, will the pepper dissolve or not dissolve? You ready? Will it dissolve, yes or no? Go. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of big scoops of pepper in here. I don't think I'm going to taste this one because I think if the salt tasted yucky, I think the pepper might taste really yucky and really spicy. Okay, you ready? Can you guys see it in there? I'm going to give it the stir. Oops, I got some on my carpet. Stir, 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 stir. Make a whirlpool. Looks like a tornado. Has the pepper disappeared in the water? Can you guys see how the water's gone a bit brown, but there's all these flakes still in there and all of these solid particles at the bottom, the pepper. 
The pepper hasn't disappeared, has it? It's still sitting there in the water. So the pepper did not dissolve. Okay, who's next? Salt, rice, pepper. This one, this one we could probably taste if we wanted to. This one is sugar. So, we're gonna get our water. Do you guys think this one's gonna dissolve or not dissolve? Will it dissolve, yes or no? Go. Okay. We're gonna put a big mm, scoop of sugar, it's so sweet, into the water. I'll get my stirring knife. We're gonna make a big whirlpool, go. This one's going to be a bit of a trick answer, I think. Let's have a look. Okay. Some of some of the sugar has disappeared. You see up here, it's gone a bit glassy looking. There's a tiny bit of sediment that settled at the bottom, um, but a lot of it has dissolved into our water. It has dissolved. And one thing you'll notice when you're doing dissolving at home is when you dissolve something in cold water, you've got to use a lot more friction. You've got to stir it around a lot more and be much more patient for it to dissolve. But if you put, say, some sugar in a hot cup of tea or a hot cup of coffee or Milo, it would dissolve much quicker. But see how it's gone all clear? The sugar does dissolve. So we've got salt, rice, pepper, sugar. Okay, we've got one more. We've got, these are called cumin seeds. So I'm gonna put some, I'll put them on the spoon so you can see them. Oh, they smell delicious. Okay. Can you guys see them there? So cumin seeds, and I use these sometimes for my cooking. I use them, oh, like the other night I made spiced rice. We had cumin and some stock and some butter in the rice maker while it was cooking. and some turmeric and our rice was so delicious when it was ready okay we're going to put the cumin inside the water you can make a quick guess because i forgot to give you the chance to guess is it going to dissolve yes or no go and make a whirlpool make a whirlpool oh look at that amazing tornado look at that tornado doesn't it look beautiful oh it's quite mesmerizing isn't it can you see how the cumin seeds are still floating around in there Okay, so the cumin didn't dissolve. So we had our cumin, that didn't dissolve. Our sugar, that did dissolve. Our pepper, that didn't dissolve. Our rice, that didn't dissolve. And our salt, that did dissolve. Maybe you guys could do some dissolving things at home. What solids could you put into some water and see if they'll go nice and disappear on you? Could you maybe Help mummy or daddy make a coffee or could maybe you could have a special treat and have a Milo or does anybody's baby drink formula and you get that big tin of formula and you can take the scoops out of the formula and you put it inside the water and that dissolves and it turns that water into milk doesn't it so that's a special kind of dissolving or maybe you might have some bath salts at home or other things that you could dissolve in your home what ideas have you guys got of things that you could dissolve all right, I'm gonna clean up this mess. Give me two seconds. Now I wanna share another really special taonga from my house. This taonga is a waka, and this was a gift to me by my whanau at Kids Reserve, and it's really, really special. And I wanted to share this today because I thought there's a really beautiful waiata we could learn together, and there's a really beautiful whakapoki that I think is really important in this time when we're all in our homes. Now, disclaimer, this is a waiata I am relearning, it's one that I did as a kōtiro when I was little, like you guys, and my kayako taught me. It's one that I've forgotten, and so I'm busy trying to refill my kete with my knowledge of my waiata and my reo, and we're all on a learning journey, so I might make a few mistakes, but that's how we learn. Now this is an action song, so you can use your ringeringa to do the song with me. You can do hope, kiraro hope, um, and... I'm gonna give it a go. The song also goes really high, so it might sound really funny. Should we try it together? Toru? Fa? Ready? You ready? Utai na mai ngā waka Ngā waka o te motu Toi a mai ra 
ki uta, ki te tako horanga, hiki nuku hiki e, hiki rangi rangi e, tēnā, tēnā rā, koutou katoa. We'll try again. Utai ngā mai ngā waka, ngā waka o te motu, toia mai rā ki uta, ki te tako horanga, hiki nuku hiki e, hiki rangi rangi e, tēnā, tēnā rā. Thank you. Okay, and I'm just going to hold up our special waka again. I just want to share that whakatauki with us all. E waka eke noa. We're all in this together. So at the moment, while we're all in our homes, if you're here in Aotearoa, if you're in Australia, if you're in Kenya, if you're in England, if you're in Wales, if you're in America, or anywhere else that you're tuning in from, Together as a whānau across our globe, we are all together in this waka, he waka eke noa, and we are all keeping one another safe, and we are all showing one another kindness, and we are all showing one another aroha, and I just think that's really special at the moment. All right, tamariki ma, we're just going to end with one more waiata, just one that everybody knows, we can get a little bit of happiness out, get a little bit of energy out, you ready? Do you need to do a little bit of a shake? You ready? Woody, woody, tōti na na, kia Wiri wiri to tina na kito. Wiri wiri to tina na kito. All right. Who's feeling happy? Who can show me with a little bit of a kani kani? You ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, wriggle your body. If you're happy and you know it, wriggle your body. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wriggle your body. If you're happy and you know it, blink your eyes. If you're happy and you know it, blink your eyes. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, blink your eyes. If you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. If you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. Mwah. All right, my lovely friends, I hope that you are having a wonderful day at home. We're still looking for a name. We had one suggestion yesterday from Jakey. Was it Jakey who said that we could call it Sarah's show Showdown? Shakedown? Sarah's Shakedown? My stepson, Noah, he calls me Searsy. He thought it would be really funny if we call it CZ Series, which might be very difficult to say. Um, at the moment, we're still going to call it episode Toru, number three. Um, I hope that everybody has a really lovely day today. I'm sending you all my aroha, and I hope you're showing all of your love and kindness to your whānau and your friends. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Ka kite a popo. Mm.